The Shopify marketing automation tool is crazy powerful. You no longer need to spend hundreds of dollars to send marketing emails to customers and try to recover them. However, these automations are a little bit hard to set up correctly. So we're gonna create two must have automations for your Shopify store. And I will explain how they work. By the end of this video, you will have the knowledge to create your own automations that will save you money and make your life a lot easier. Hey guys, it's the Econ Bull here. And today you're learning how to automate your Shopify store. So let's get started in three, two, one, yeah. All right, so the first automation that we're going to create will be to recover an abandoned cart. When a customer fails to finish their checkout, this automation will send them an email after just one hour saying, hey, what happened? You didn't finish the checkout, come by. They don't do it, it's gonna send them another email after 24 hours, reminding them again. Now, if they don't do it, it's gonna send them a third email after 72 hours. And this time it's gonna be special because it will include a coupon code so that the customer gets convinced and finally buys. So let's see how we can do this. To create this automation, we're gonna go to marketing and then automations. Right here, we're gonna click on create automation and then custom email automation. Here is where we will create our entire workflow. Now, every automation starts with a trigger. You can see here all of the possible triggers that Shopify allows us to use. Now for this one, we're gonna start with the trigger that customer abandons the checkout. The next step will be to select an output and we're going to use a condition. So we select condition here and we're gonna click on add criteria. Now these are the criterias and we're gonna use this to check if the customer actually had some items in their checkout. So we're gonna click on abandonment and then abandon checkout payload. Click on total price set and then chop money. We're gonna click on amount and we want to make sure that the amount is greater than zero dollars, okay? But when Shopify detects that the customer abandons the checkout, this automation will get started. Then it's gonna check if they had something in their cart. Now the next step will be to wait one hour. So we're gonna do that by action. We're gonna type here, wait. Select that action. And here, how long do we want it to wait? So we're gonna wait for one hour. So one hour, good. Now we need to check for something else because imagine that the customer tried to finish the checkout, it fell, but then it came back five minutes later and it completed the checkout. We don't want to start several automations for that same client. So we're gonna add something here. We're gonna create another condition. Add a criteria. Let's go to abandonment. And then let's choose customer has not ordered since abandonment. So here, if customer has no order since abandonment is equal to true, then it will continue the flow. And then the next thing that we want to do is add another action. And this action will be to actually send the email. So we click on action and we're gonna click on send marketing email. I'm gonna explain the difference between send email and send marketing email on one of our other automations. So let's just click on send email, marketing email for now. And we're gonna select email template. So right here, we're gonna choose a pre-built abandoned checkout template. We're gonna select it, but we're gonna make a few changes. Your cart is ready for checkout. Continue checkout and then the items that you left on your cart. Now I wanna make a few changes because I want this to be a little bit more personal. And also I wanna add a special image that is gonna attract customers to buy. We're gonna add a little bit of text here. Hi. And then we're gonna use one of the magic tools here. And we're gonna put first name. So this will always populate with the first name of the person. You've placed items in your shopping cart but didn't complete the checkout. We saved the cart for you so none of the items run out. All right, then items left in shopping cart. I'm gonna leave this as it is. And we're going to drag an image right here. The purpose of this final statement, this final image is so that the customer can envision themselves already with the package in their hand. You know, they're just so close to having it. Just finish the checkout. So then we're gonna go up here, select the subject, your order status, then for the preview text, we're gonna put action required. Did you finish your checkout? And here, we're gonna send it to all customers. 
we are ready. Let's just click on save. And that's it, but let's check it out one more time. So this workflow will start when the trigger customer abandon checkout happens. All right, it's gonna have an output and it's gonna check if the amount on their card is greater than zero, okay? The value, the monetary value. Now it's gonna wait for one hour before doing anything else. And then it's gonna check again, just to make sure that the customer hasn't checked out since this workflow started, okay? We don't wanna send repetitive emails to the customers. And then if that's true, then it's gonna send a marketing email. So let's turn on the workflow. Ready to start? Yes. All right, so the workflow has started. Now, every time somebody abandons the checkout, it's gonna send them an email. Now to send the other two emails, we have to basically duplicate this same automation, but we just with a different parameters. I'm gonna show you which parameters you will have to change. You only have to change the wait time, just change it to 24 hours, all right? The rest is gonna be the same. And of course, change the email a little bit. You say, hey, this is another reminder, you know, check out. And for the third email, you're gonna change again the time. I'm gonna put 72 hours and you're gonna change the marketing email again. This will be the third email that we will send to the customer. So are you still thinking about it? Don't think too much. Here's 20%. This is the coupon code. You have to activate it on your Shopify store before and then continue checkout. And they can just use that coupon code, the same, everything's the same here. So for the subject, we're gonna address them by their name. Alejandro, are you still thinking about it? Preview text, get 20% off on your items left in your car. And then click on save and that will be your third email. For the second automation, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Imagine that it takes you two or three days to make the product and ship it once you receive the order. So this automation will check and make sure that if after five days that order hasn't been shipped, it's gonna send an email to your internal staff, whoever handles the shipping or whatever department you wanna send it to, just to tell them, hey, this order is over five days old. You better ship it now or what's going on. And then it's also gonna send an email to the customer saying, hey, we're still working on your order. You will receive it very soon. Let's see how it's done. So again, we're gonna click on custom email automation. For the trigger, we're gonna choose order created. And then after an order gets created, we're gonna wait. So we're gonna add an action. The action will be wait. And we're gonna wait for five days. So five days, all right? Then we're going to add a criteria. So let's add a condition and click on condition here, add criteria. So here we're gonna click on order and then we're gonna type fulfillment. All right, and we're gonna click on display fulfillment status. We're gonna make sure that if the fulfillment status is equal to unfulfill, then we're gonna do an action. And this action will be to send a marketing email. And here you will do the email just like we did it last time, but just, you know, to tell the customer, hey, we're working on your order. Wait a little bit. After this condition is met, we're doing this action, sending the marketing email. But we also want to do another action. So we're gonna click on this plus sign and click on actions. So you see, there's two different actions that are happening after one condition was met. And you can add as many as you want. You can imagine the possibilities here. But on this case, we're gonna go for send email. I just type email here, got the send email. In the email address, you just put whoever you want to receive this email. In this case, it's an internal department within the company. But let's say that you have a third party that ships your products. Well, you can automate this, so it will remind them that your order wasn't shipped. So for the subject, you can put something like order not cheap, please check. And then for the messages, we're gonna do something pretty cool. We're gonna use variables. And this is because we want the email to automatically populate the order details. So when whatever department receives this email, they know exactly which order it's talking about. So we're gonna click on add variable here. Then click on order, look for customer right here. 
then we're gonna look for orders right here. So it's a customer, the order of that customer. And then we're gonna look for the name right here. So see, this will generate a unique identifier for the order that appears on the order page in the Shopify admin and the order status page. For example, you know, the number 1001. Okay, so we're gonna click on that. It will generate this code. Okay, so you don't touch that. The only thing that you can put here if you want is uh, please check order and update status. And then here will be, you know, the number of the order. Let's look once again how this workflow flows. Uh, it will start when an order is created. Then it's gonna wait for five days. Then it's gonna check if the item is unfulfilled. And if it's still unfulfilled, it's gonna send a marketing email to the customer and it's gonna send an email to whoever you want. Now, what happens if the workflow gets to this point after waiting five days and the order was actually fulfilled? Then none of this will happen. The workflow will end and that's it. That's it for this workflow. So let's say that you don't want this workflow to end. So imagine that after five days, the system checks and the order was actually fulfilled. So then you can actually add something else. For example, send an email to the customer saying, hey, your order is on its way. Shopify automatically updates the customer when an order is on the way. But just to give you an example, because you can you know, expand on this a lot. So you will just click on otherwise, and then you will add an action, send a marketing email, and then you will just create the email saying, hey, your stuff is on the way. I hope that now you have a better idea on how Shopify automations work. It is crazy powerful, and I can't wait to see the crazy, crazy workflows that you can create. Right here, I have another video on automations, and here, another video about e-commerce. Thank you, thank you, thank you, I'm out. Oh, I keep forgetting, like and subscribe. Thank you.